Hi there, Corey from SaaS Pegasus here, and today I want to show you a quick demo of the new e-commerce example app that ships with Pegasus. So this is what the e-commerce store looks like out of the box with Pegasus. Um, it's nothing flashy, but it provides the building blocks you need to get started. And what's more interesting is how it's put together. But first, I'll just walk through a quick demo. So you can see I have two products here. I've got SaaS Pegasus itself selling for $449, and then I've got this DVD of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail selling for $22. And so from a user perspective, they're going to log in. They'll see the store. They can click buy. When they click buy, that will take them over to Stripe Checkout. And here in Stripe Checkout, they can enter their payment details. I'll just use some test information. And Stripe will process that payment and send them back to your site. Now you can see up here, your purchase of SaaS Pegasus was successful. Um, and if you go into my stuff now, you will see that uh, this purchase is here. So that's the basic user experience. And to show how that works, I will uh, show the process of adding a new product to the store. So to start, I'll just show you how it's set up. So you can see in Stripe, you have your product catalog here. Um, and these are the two products that you saw in the store that we've added in Stripe. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new product here. And let's say we want to add another Monty Python movie. So maybe we'll add The Life of Brian. And we'll just say another DVD classic. We can upload a picture. There's a nice Life of Brian picture. And now we're going to set our pricing model. So Life of Brian, let's, uh, let's price that. Well, maybe we'll make it a little cheaper than uh, the Holy Grail. We'll say it's a one-time purchase, and then we'll save this product. OK, so how do we add this product to our store? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy this product ID, and then we're going to add it here to our list of active e-commerce product IDs. And code-wise, that's actually the only change you need to make. But then the second step is going to be to sync your Stripe data back to your database, which you can do with the built-in uh, sync models command. And so this is just pulling down all the latest updates that you've made to the database. Finally, we can restart the server. Now, if we go back here and refresh the page, we will see that our new DVD is here. And if we wanted to go through a purchase workflow, we could do that too. Quickly fill this in. And now we go to my stuff, and you can see it there. What you do after these purchases is business logic that you can code into your app. So maybe you want to um, unlock certain content in your site. Maybe you want to um, you know, display a download link on the products or um, send some emails. Whatever it is, um, hopefully this provides a nice launching off point to handle the payments and the infrastructure for you and uh, give you a head start to go build out something in the e-commerce space. So I hope that's been useful, and I will see you next time.